Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, cats, I'm doing the booktube cat tag. So I was tagged um, in this by Michael K. Vaughan, who did the booktube dog tag, albeit he did it about his monkey and his rabbit. Um, I'll put a link to that video um, in the description if I remember because it was <laughs> it was a very, very funny video. Um, I can't promise that this will be as amusing. Um, I am going to talk about my cat though, Venus. Um, so you may have seen Venus crop up in um, various videos before now. Um, she does she does show up every so often. Um, I'll put some, uh, some B-roll footage of her in as well so you can see what she's like. Um, but yeah, there are um, seven questions um, about cats. So this is a, uh, I think it was originally the dog tag, but you can do it as the cat tag as well. Um, and Michael challenged anyone with a cat to, to do so. Um, so let me go through the questions and tell you about Venus. So first question is, uh, tell us about your cat. So Venus is a Selkirk Rex, um, which is like a, f a fancy breed. Um, and she's very, um, she's very sort of pedigree in terms of being uh, a bit dysfunctional and very lazy and she just sort of songs around the house all day. Um, she does go out in the garden but only really if there's adults or you know people, humans out in the garden. Um, and yeah basically she just likes being petted and uh, you know being looked after. Um, she's, she doesn't do cat stuff like she doesn't climb fences or climb trees. She's kind of vaguely interested in birds but she never really chases them. Um, so yeah she's she's more of a, an ornament than a cat in, in many ways but we love her very much. Um, she's nine years old I think nine or ten so she's getting on a bit now um, but yeah she's been a, a part of our family since my son was young um, and yeah we will we will definitely very much miss her whenever it is she uh, she toddles off to cat heaven. Um, okay, second question. What would be your cat's favourite book? Um, I think it's a bit of a strange question, isn't it? But I think uh, Venus would like romances. Um, so I think she's a bit soppy. Um, and I think she would like uh, kind of Regency romance type things with, you know, pretty dresses and things like that. So I think maybe, you know, Pride and Prejudice or something like that. Um, something with a bit of glamour to it uh, and a bit of a bit of romance uh, and you know a bit of a plot I think she's just about bright enough to um, to understand a slightly complex plot but nothing too difficult um, so yeah, I think I think uh, a Regency romance would suit her well um, right next question uh, use the first letter in book titles to spell your cat's name so where did I put the books? Oh, I'll put them over here. Hold on, let me reach for the books. Right, so as, as I said, her name is Venus. So I have got um, The Vampire or Detective Brown's Greatest Case, um, America's first vampire novel, which I still haven't read yet, but I really need to read. So I was sent this by the publishers, uh, Strangers from Nowhere. I read another book that they've published, which was a novelisation of a... Um, a Hungarian silent vampire film, which was fantastic. Um, so I really do need to read this. It looks like a lot of pulpy fun. Um, so anyway, that's that's the V. Um, the E is um, Elephants Can Remember by Agatha Christie, which has this wonderfully random, <laughs> like just really bizarre 70s cover um, on it. So this is a uh, one of the later Poirot books, I think. Um, N will be Night Chills by Dean Koontz. So this is Dean Koontz from back in the days when he wrote slightly nasty, sleazy horror fiction rather than the sort of, I don't know what it is he writes now. The, the sort of very, it's, it's almost like the, the book equivalent of a TV movie, I think is what he writes now. But he used to write slightly more interesting stuff. So this is his book Night Chills, which I have read before, but like many, many years ago. Uh, U will be Unbalanced Acts by Jeff Rains, which is a book I've talked about on the channel before um, because of the bizarre coincidence surrounding it in that my son, when he was a lot younger, used to make up stories and was saying he thought I should write a book about um, someone who frees a load of serial killers from prison um, in order to terrorise a city. And I remember that there was a book that I'd read about that, but couldn't remember anything about it other than that. And then a few days later was in a... Um, a second-hand bookshop 
um, and found this book, which is the book that I had read before um, with that same plot. So I do need to give this a reread. I haven't managed to reread it yet. Um, but yeah, Unbalanced Acts by Jeff Rains. Um, and then finally, S. So this is one I haven't read, but I really need to. So I've had this copy for a while now. So 6-4 uh, by Hideo Yokoyama, uh, which is a kind of modern classic of Japanese crime fiction. It's supposed to be really excellent. It's a lovely edition as well. I think it's a fantastic cover. Uh, I love the pink edging to the pages as well. And it's even got a really cool picture inside. I don't know if that's the original Japanese cover. Um, but that's fantastic. So yeah, I definitely need to read this at some point. So anyway, that is Venus's name spelled in books. Okay, next question then. What is your cat's relationship with books? So I think Venus's relationships with books, a relationship with books is that they get in her way. Because of a weekend morning when I am sitting down before the rest of the house is up and reading, um, Venus in, invariably wants to sit on my lap. Um, and when she does that, she finds that there is a book in the way. So she spends a lot of time kind of trying to nudge the book out of the way so she can get a bit of attention from me. Um, and I'm, <laughs> on the other hand, trying to nudge her away so I can pay attention to the book. Um, so, yeah, I think she sees books as a bit of a nuisance. Um, OK, right. So next question then. What is your favourite book with a cat? So I think, so this is a, uh, it's more of a short story than a book. So it, um, it's the Puss in Boots story. I think it's called Puss in Boots. But I forget now. But yeah, and in Angela Carter's book, The Bloody Chamber and other stories, um, there's a story about Puss in Boots, which is absolutely fantastic. It's like the funniest, bawdiest um, thing ever. So that collection as a whole is really dark. Um, but yeah, the Puss in Boots story is just very, very funny. And Puss, you know, Puss in Boots as the character, as a central character, is just brilliant. Um, OK, next one then. Find a book on your shelves with a cat on the cover. So I've got, I've definitely got two books that have got cats on the cover, but they're both in the attic and it's much too hot. <laughs> so he, as you know, rises. Um, as I said in my video yesterday, it is very hot here at the moment. My attic is like a sauna. Um, so there was no way I was going to go up in the attic to get to try and find two books in one of the many boxes up there. Um, but I'll put pictures of them up. So one is, cheekily, um, A Cat Called Hope, which is a book by me um, that I wrote a few years ago. So I will put up a uh, put up the cover for that. Um, the other one, um, rather less cheekily and more uh, more in line with the thrust of the channel, is The Cats by Nick Sharman, um, which is a really trashy... Um, British horror novel from, I think, I can't remember if it was from the 70s or early 80s, but not long after The Rats by James Herbert came out and was a huge success, um, the publishers decided to get someone to write a book about cats. And that book is The Cats by Nick Sharma, which is a very gory, over the top, very silly um, British, yeah, British trashy horror novel. It's, what, it's a book that's featured in Paperbacks from Hell, the Grady Hendrix books. Um, and it is a lot of fun. It is, it is quite entertaining. Okay, next question. And I actually mi I missed this question out and just realised at the end of filming, so I'm going to insert it through the magic of editing um, into the video. So if it looks a bit um, less than seamless, that's why. If I hadn't rambled on about the fact I missed it, you probably wouldn't have even noticed. But anyway, it's too late for that now. So the question is, find a book in your TBR that has the word cat in the title or has a cat in it. So I don't think this book has either of those things. It may have a cat in it. Um, but yes, the book is Puss in Boots by Ed McBain, which is one of his Matthew Hope mysteries. So I'm working my way slowly through the Matthew Hope series at the moment. I'm up to about book three or four. Um, so I haven't read this one. I don't know if it's got a cat in it. It hasn't got the word cat in the title, but it's got puss in the title, which is another another word for cat. So I will take that as a, as a reasonable answer to this question, if not a brilliant one. OK, final question then. Who would you like to tag? So I was trying to think of people who I know have definitely got cats um, who haven't already been tagged in this. I couldn't think of any. But if you are one of those people, if you're watching this and you've got a channel and you've got a cat, then please go for it and, uh, and make your response to the BookTube cat tag. OK, time for that uh, moment in the video when I pluck a random book from the shelf. So today's book... Um, is another one of those books that I've just had forever and still haven't read, which is World War Z by, uh, or World War Z, if you're American, by Max Brooks. Um, so I had a, like a, uh, I will confess, a dodgy um, 
a dodgy ebook copy of this like years and years and years ago when it first came out and, and never got around to reading it. And then subsequently, uh, probably five years ago, um, in a supermarket, like secondhand book, you know, charity book sale, um, found this copy, um, which is a weird shape. Um, so I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, if you compare it to this McBain, it's too too tall and uh, not wide enough. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know why it's this shape. Um, but yeah, I picked it up and still haven't read it. So I've read, I have read uh, Max Brooks's other novel, Devolution, which I really enjoyed, his Bigfoot novel. So I really should go back and read World War Z at some point, but yes, have not managed to yet. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you're a cat owner, do let me know about your cat in the uh, in the comments. I'm a big fan of cats. Um, I definitely think, uh, or I, I mean, I don't dislike dogs, but I, I do prefer cats, I'll be honest. Um, they just seem like less hassle than dogs. Dogs seem like an awful lot of work, to be honest with you. Um, anyway, that's probably lost me a few, <laughs> that's probably lost me a few subscribers. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well. Hope you're really good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.